What is verse 1 in Revelation chapter 2? To the angel of the church in? Would you say it loud? To the angel of the church in? This is the church that we've been preaching about this morning. Christians who looked at the world. They had this relationship with God. This blessedness in God. And what was Jesus Christ holding against them? Verse 4, Revelation 2. Verse 4. Yet I hold this against you. You have what? Forsaken your? First love. It's sad that sometime later after Paul wrote this letter, this church would actually backslide or forsake the first love, the relationship that they had in Jesus Christ at the beginning. And I don't know, maybe, maybe there are people here today where you once were on fire for God, you once were when you were born again and you received Jesus Christ, so excited to live for him, to glorify him, but then you looked at the world. And sometimes we can slowly have this slow slipping away and falling in love with the world and losing our love for the Lord. We no longer live in to do his will. And we've lost our first love, which should be Jesus Christ in our lives. Our prayer times are just ritualistic. We've lost that intensity in our relationship with him, that desire and joy to obey and to do his will, the pleasure of serving him. And it's sad to hear that some people say, I once used to be on fire for God. I once used to be uh, so deeply in love with Jesus Christ. I once used to be so excited, but what about today, right now? Maybe we need to be thirsty again. We need to revisit our relationship with, it, with, uh, with him again and live to do his will again and be hungry and thirsty for him again and have Jesus Christ at the center of our life again and make him the first love of our life again and be on fire again, filled with the spirit again. Amen. Do you want that? Would you stand to your feet? I want to tell you something. And I hope that we all will come to church thirsty and hungry each week. Not walking late. And I'm serious. If you're hungry, you will come early. If you're thirsty and you're excited about church, you're excited about God, you will come early. This is not a, church is not a ritual. If this is something you're doing for God and you really need him, show it to him. Show it how desperate you are for God by showing up early. Lord, I, I spend early mornings in prayer. If God is going to fill you, let him see from you that you are really thirsty. Are you with me here? We need to get serious about our relationship with him. Can you remember a day? These are the simple things of being thirsty for God. Are you with me here? Can you remember a day where, where the churches were full and people would come early to get a seat, right? People were filling the altars and crying and wanting more of God in their lives. Where is that hunger? Where is that thirst? Where is it in you and I? Where is the deep desire for God in our lives? That we have to drag our feet to church. Drag our feet to pray. But we, are, we can be so quick to rush into sin and pleasure and disobedience to God. And then say, God, cover me with your grace as I rush into sin. This is hard, but this is true. 
my friend, if we want to be filled by the Lord again, let us be serious and make him the first love of our life again. Let us not lose that intensity in our relationship with him. Let us not lose that fire of our walk with him. Let us be passionate about everything. Let us be cautious and wise in the, in the way we live here and every day of our lives. Let us live for the glory of God. Amen.